Happy Valentine's, everyone. Welcome on this beautiful February 14th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Happy Valentine's Day. Good, good, good. Hopefully everybody's wearing pink or red. I came to my office today and I saw everybody. Nobody's wearing pink. I'm like, am I only one celebrating Valentine's Day? I guess I had an early start from yesterday. <laughs> First of all, I want to do a quick shout out. Uh, my niece, Vanessa, just had a baby girl yesterday. Uh... Uh, Vivia, Vivia, Vivia Maria, that's her name, a nice Italian name. So uh, I'd like to do a quick little shout out and congratulate her. Been great. Thank you so much, guys. So I'm another uncle, I guess. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Vanessa, if you guys remember Vanessa, she worked for me for several years. She's been here probably like five, six years, and you know, so uh, it was great. But um. But anyway, guys, uh, happy Valentine's again. Great, great start this morning already. A lot of you guys already cleaned up on the RBZ. I mean, I'm going to bring it up really quick. That was just a great, great little uh, pop right there. I mean, Andre, I think, what are you, leaving already? You already made money already? It's unbelievable already. So anyway, that stock had a great, great run, up 73%. We all know where that came from. Look at that stock had just a great, great run. And, you know, once again, it's what we train for, guys. I told you this. You know, when you, when you come here, you know, I, I know we have a lot of trial members looking what's going on. And, like, man, I never seen a stock up 73% of my life. And, listen, early bird gets a worm. That's why we start early here. And, secondly, you know what? You're just supposed to look. You're not supposed to trade. And this is something you want to do, then, you know, obviously we'll go to that next level. But before we start getting and going through the watch list, let's do a couple of shout outs. First of all, I, I got to talk about this. This, <laughs> you know, sometimes I make, I, I, I you know, I take a, a laugh myself, but solo yesterday, okay? Um, I, this was like, you know, this was like taking candy from a little kid yesterday. Solo, are you kidding me? I mean, we just we made so much money on this stock yesterday, and everyone was just printing printing money yesterday. And you know it's it, but you know what, you know it's nice to get one of these ones. I haven't seen something that moves so easy like this in a few days. And then and Andre goes, if a few days, I mean you're probably right. Some people won't see it in a lifetime, but this thing was just. Awesome. I mean, this was probably our best winner yesterday. Uh, I want to do a quick little ex uh, a shout out, you know, uh, be from from my 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 uh, good friend out there. Let's give a round of applause to Ken Thol. Ken Thol made nine thousand dollars yesterday. Ken, you're going to a different level. Let's give him a big round of applause. Way to go. Eighty five hundred was it? All right. Let me give you a nice little cash register sound for that. There you go. By the way, Ken, how long did it take you to get there? Let me tell you just a quick story about Ken. Ken was just happy to make three to 500 a day. He hated being a pharmacist. I says, don't worry about it, Ken. I'll take you under my wing. I'll show you how to play the game. Just be patient with me. And he was very patient. He stuck it out, did everything he had to do, learned all his training, and look what he's doing right now. Paid for all in one day. So uh, good for you. And, you know, it's always great to have a great contributors like that. But he did really well yesterday. But uh, but this stock right here, Solo, it was just – it was just so damn easy. What a what a great great stock. Patience and experience. Is exact, and I, you know what? I tell everyone that all the time, Ken. And um, you know the hardest thing to go through our program is like the first month. You know because and you know what it is. Everyone just has these bad habits, and there was some. And, and the hardest thing is like training someone that already learned from someone, and they want to make it work, and then they realize that ninety percent of stuff they're doing and make it just so much more complicated. And you know what? If if you if if you if some of you looked at what you know what Ken made yesterday, if you waited until to do these trades, you you know when it would have been, you know probably today, you know because a lot of people don't know how to trade momentum and stuff like that. But uh, but I'm just very happy for you, Ken. That's great. So anyway, Solo was just a great moving stock. Everyone did great on that stock. Um, I pulled a buck out of it. I'm sitting there, you know, you know, uh, I was talking to a potential student. And, uh, you know, I, I feel really bad for some traders. You know, I want to kind of just point this out. And I'm not, I don't want to bash anybody or insult everyone, anyone. But, you know, um, you know, I know some people have a lot of money in the market or you really want to get this thing to work. But, you know, I, I was talking to someone yesterday and he was so psyched to do this. He loved it. And then when he found out what was involved to, um, and what it cost to get involved, he's like, I, you know, I can't afford that. I, I, that's crazy. I mean, listen. I always made a commitment. I told you guys, don't worry about it. 
I know you're going to make it back, okay? I've been doing this for 25 years. But um, but if you don't see the writing on the wall, I'm like, like, like I was saying to some this one guy, I was like, when's the last time someone ever brought you a stock that was up 70, 150% in one day? He goes, never. Were you ever in the stock at 100, 150%? Never. Okay, well, we do it every other day. He says, wow, that's pretty interesting. So what, what, what's holding you back? You know, I mean, so, and, and you know what, the, and I just tell point blank, and I'm telling everybody this, even I have fans on the internet. Listen, if you're not going to learn from somebody, and if you're not impressed, do yourself a favor. Start interviewing stockbrokers, okay, and give them their, your money in them because it's really, you know, it, it's the greatest job in the world. And let us go out there and, and decide if this is for you and I. I know everybody wants to do this, but it's not for everybody. And, um, and we'll let you know if it is. We get hundreds of people that apply to be part of our team a month. And let me tell you, we only pick, you know, a, 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 just a couple of you, you know. So uh, it's not more of a – we're not like some other schools where we'll have a, thousands of traders in this room. Trust me, I, I should have three, 4,000 people in this room for the years I've been in business. Trust me, I don't want three, 4,000 people in here, okay. So it's a very, very select group. We're very, very selective who we want. This is a, a trading room, not a, an educational room where – People were just trying to charge you and, and make money off you. So I just want to clarify that because I was, I, was, I was getting – I felt so bad for this guy, you know, and uh, and, and it's, sometimes I hear it. And it's just unfortunately some people just got to learn the hard way. Anyway, regarding – and uh, like I said, if you do, this didn't impress you, <laughs> I don't know what else would. Um, but anyway, there was a lot of the stocks that we traded that pretty well. But this was really real, – realistically the real one I want to talk about. All right, so anyway, that's the archives, right? Let's, let, let's put that in the past. Let's see if you could do it again. Okay, we'll do it again. We did it already. RBX, okay? Didn't think – did, probably didn't see that coming, right? Well, anyway, look at that stock, RBX. Uh, why didn't it come up? There we go. Great move. By the way, stock was a $10 stock, okay? Let me repeat that. It was $10 less than two months ago, all right? So if you think, you know, being up 75% is the top, it might be. But we all know, we've seen this, we've seen this before. Solo was 75%. It ended up closing. Where did it go up? 300%? It's got a lot of room to move. Listen. Beautiful iceberg orders right here. You got resistance levels. Let's see if it breaks that. If it breaks that right around where it is right now, which looks like it's going to probably test maybe 275. Um, if it breaks that, the stock can break through all the way up to five. So follow the money when it comes to this one. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, you know, and this is more of a training thing. I really kind of want to point it out. But Solo has a warrant. There's a W. I don't know if you guys know what warrants are, but I'm going to do a quick video, um, talk about warrants. People always ask me, what is what is Solo and Solo W? You know, it's just another stock that, that's out there. It's more, you know, before there were options, you know, some of you had to trade options. There were warrants. Just It's just a different class of stock that's out there. So that's. If you look at some of my videos, I've done some events on that, but I'll try to do another video. MGB, MDGB, I'm sorry, NDGS. I'm so excited about Valentine's Day. You know, it's the most loving day of the day. I'm feeling like in a great mood. Anyway, MDGA, nice stock, up 10%, 71,000 shares. Another little cheapy, which is what we like to trade. You could see over there, um, we got some pretty decent orders out there, 1600s. You know, hovering around 330, you got a big sell over here. Looks like kind of test that resistance. A pretty good stock. You know, it's not up huge, which is nice. You know, probably still some move there. MTFB. Okay, now this is where the fun part comes in. Bottom fishing. Okay, bottom fishing. Look at this stock right here. Crushed. You know, people always think, listen, if you think, you know, they think two, three dollars, five dollars stocks are scary. Okay, how's this working out? You when it was at eleven, thing just got destroyed, destroyed. Anyway, it's starting to make a little bit of a bounce here. You could see it right here. It's starting to make a little bit of a bounce. It started already this morning, seventy-two percent. Trust me, if you're waking up this morning and you saw the stock right now, what do you think every broker's doing to their 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 investor who owns it? Oh, if you loved it at ten, you got to be drooling at three. It should, you know, things happen. Well, no problem. Let's try to capitalize on that bottom fish right there. And there's another one too, S W I R. Another one that got destroyed. It's not. 
like as bad, but you know, it's down 20%, 91,000 shares. I like this stock a little bit because it's got some, um, it's got some iceberg orders out here. I saw a lot, a few orders here and there. So it kind of makes up where the buyers and sellers are. So that one's really not that bad. Uh, and also it's testing some support levels back here in December, which is another thing I kind of liked about it. But, uh, obviously this was a, looks like from the chart, looks like an earnings announcement. So, Obviously, it worked out too well, so it took a big hit. And then I know some of you guys were mentioning the, Ye the Yeti, the Y-E-T-I. You know, I, I don't know. I, I never got into the Yeti. Um, $250 for a, 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 um, a cooler. I mean, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a boater in this and that. I mean, I don't know. seems like a lot to me. But anyway, um, so uh, Y-E-T-I, it's up. I mean, obviously, people are buying. Stock's doing pretty well. The company has not been public that long, but, you know, it looks like it's testing some resistance levels uh, back in November from what it looks like. Let's see if it breaks it. Not not the greatest iceberg orders out there, but just be very careful. I'd rather trade the other ones. A motorcycle with a cover. Is that what they call it? <laughs> All right. Funny, Mary Beth. All right, so you got your list here, everyone. Let's get ready for the open. A lot of good moving stocks. Once again, the... I know a lot of you did really well with the RBZ already. That stock, I mean, everyone should have been in the stock, you know, at around a buck ninety, maybe two dollars. Every, you know, you could have bought several thousand shares of that stock. You know, you could have bought five thousand shares of that stock. It would only cost you ten thousand dollars if you bought a five five hundred shares of Yeti. It still would have cost you ten thousand. You make a hell of a lot percentage wise and dollar wise trading the RBZ versus trading the Yeti. But you know, everybody wants to trade Amazon. Everyone wants to trade a sixteen hundred dollar stock. Oh, but I can't trade sixteen hundred dollar stock. I could I could I could trade the options. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's go out there and make some money, guys, all right? I'll see you back at 2.30. Don't forget, classes start next week. And then also today at 12 o'clock, we have open house. So if you're not doing anything, come out there. And uh, just uh, remember what I asked all of you guys, do me a favor. When you make money, come out there and tell everyone how much money you make. And let us uh, see if we want to qualify them and, uh, to be part of our team. You know, remember, we don't just accept everyone. So uh, everybody wants to see everything. Doesn't mean they, sh you know, they should do it. So let's see how it goes. See you back then, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.